in an instant, watches the red pickup truck climb the dividing wall on I-43 near Hampton, slammed into one pole, rode the rail, and took out a second light pole. Southbound traffic swerved out of the way of the falling steel and flying glass. The poles did exactly what they're designed to do. They're supposed to break off like yeah, that? Yeah, they're supposed to be breakaway like that. North Shore Fire Lieutenant Dan Tyke says after the crash, power to the light poles posed a danger. Once you shear off that pole, the, the concern is being at where the base was connected because you would potentially have exposed wires. A good Samaritan walked across traffic to check on the driver, who eventually climbed out. At least five or six other people stood together on the freeway, still processing what happened and checking damage. Tyke says the instinct is to help, but trying to prevent a secondary crash is equally important. Even if you're involved in that crash, we would tell you never to get out of your vehicle to assess the damage until you're well protected by law enforcement or the fire department. Milwaukee County deputies arrived to the scene and gave the driver of the truck a field sobriety test before cuffing and taking him away. And out here live next to I-43, it's dark, but you might be able to see where the crash happened. The poles haven't been replaced and are still laying on top of the divider. The good news here is no one was hurt in the crash. And that is good news to hear. Ben, what do we know about the driver of the truck? We reached out to the sheriff's office about charges, but so far they aren't releasing more information. Ben Hutchison reporting live in Milwaukee tonight.